What's up guys, it's Hypergrad Studios here. Today we're going to be doing another Aeronautica tutorial, but first, I brought a guest. Say hi. Hi. He's going to be helping through many, many different tutorials, and basically just helping us get the money so I don't have to grind forever, but for right now, let's get into the tutorial first. So for right now, we, you guys should have the same amount of money that I do have. That I have right now, but if you do not have the same exact jobs as I do, just as long as you have get near the amount of WP that I have, you should be fine. So we're going to do this flight because it's 10 minutes long and we get a good amount of WP so we can get plenty of money. So I always say the most efficient way of taking off is off the taxiway because we save a lot, we save a lot of fuel and. Eventually, that skill will be lit later needed in our supersonic transport phase. But do you have any say? Do you have anything to say to the fans? Uh, so uh, since you guys are most likely in between multi-engine and um, single-engine training, I recommend using a PSU-12. It's got good. Capacity, a decent speed, and good range. One of the best and very common racing around the map. I agree with that one. We're probably going to use a PC-12 in this, what's it called, in this tutorial. But if you guys are wondering what to buy, what aircraft to buy in this tutorial, we're going to show you every single thing you need to do. So we're probably going to go with a PC-12 because you've been playing this game a lot longer than I have. Yeah. I have super and, um, very efficient, and my friend here is going to show you how to get there. Yeah, we're going to go all the way up to every single license, getting basically to a point where you can get anything you want. Like, if you, we're probably going to stop with the Concorde, and then we're going to move on to he stuff like helicopter. So, right now, we just stabilized to our altitude. I suggest getting to 5,000 feet, because unless you're on a long-haul tutorial, well, not tutorial, flight, you don't really need to go to your ceiling altitude, but it's still to practice good takeoff and landings for maximizing efficiency. That would be very useful in the SST phase, but we are not there. We are here, but guys, I'll see you later. It's time for a time lapse. Now we can see we are just currently taxiing to our airport, and basically we're just going to do another flight, and then we should have enough flight time. Uh, we're, we're now landing, not landing, Ta now we're stopping our flight, there we go, now we can end flight, now we've, we've done your first single engine flight, actually no, this is our second one I remember, now we're gonna go to jobs, we're gonna try to find one that's at least 20 minutes long. I mean, I guess we can do that one. Uh, uh, there we go. Now, we're just basically doing the same... We're basically doing the same thing that, we're, that we did last time, but in reverse. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Time lapse time.
Okay, so we just did our flight. I did some off-camera grinding. So, we're going to do our training. So, we're going to do multi-engine training. We're going to go to Kitsbo International. So, we're going to go with Kitsbo International two step overs. So, let's go ahead and do it. Yeehaw. Whoa. There you go. I believe you're in a beach can. Okay, we just landed now. This is the end of the tutorial. Well, the second tutorial, actually. So, this is a pretty good flight. I'll see you next time. Bye. What's up, guys? It's Head Growth Studios here today. We're going to be playing more Aeronautica, but the reason why I haven't been uploading that much, I was banned on the account of alt account using. So my friends, I'm not an alt. yes, I'm not an my alt. friend, I'm a my username is Gentle Evening, and then my friend's username is Gentle Evening too. And basically, we're in the and what's it called? Basically, we were in the same server, so they thought we were alt account using. We cleared everything up, and yeah, I'm unbanned. Whoever the mods that I were dealing with were super nice, and oh, were very what's it called? Understandive, and yeah. So, what would you like to do on our when we just got back? Uh, how about a landing? Uh, challenge at clearance. Uh, I only have a Cessna 117. So you can still fire that. True, yeah, I can't. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna go to Ang- uh, uh, I'm- I'm the lost Alta Airport. I probably butchered that name so bad, but... Okay. <laughs> Where's that? Uh, wait, did they add any things in that? I literally haven't been in this game for, like, Forever. Oh, it doesn't look like anything. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like anything's in the map changed. Uh, what's it called? It's, do you know Norman? Or, what's it called? The Asian continent? Or not? It's not there. Yeah, it's, what's it called? It's to north. It's, what's it called? No, it's southwest of Norman. No, southeast of Norman. I'm sorry. That's where what? I'm What's it called? Uh, Angus Alta Airport. South East. Oh, I see you. Is that, are you in 747? Yeah. Landing at, what's it called? Landing at Kitsbo International? Uh, no. I'm uh, uh, I, there's just one, there's this one guy that's landing at, what's it called? Kitsboro. I'm in between the islands of Ocean and Norman. Uh. Oh. Okay. Do you think it's time lapse time? Yeah, it's time lapse time. Lapse time.
so we're gonna do just some more grinding, people. Yeah. Now it's time to do my jet engine training. This Boeing 737 Max is here. Not 737. Yeah. What's it called? Yeah, 737 Max-9. Oh, that flight was a traffic, guys. So, this recording actually took over six hours in real t lifetime to get from the multi-engine training to all the way up to our first gen engine. This one right here. Oh, yes. 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 Let's go. All right. What jobs can we do? Charter to Harden? I guess that's a lot of money. But for right now, I'll see you guys later in the next episode. Bye!
Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button and, and be sure to subscribe and you make the goat happy. Thank you.